In 1849, extensive ruins were found deep in the deserts of New Mexico, representing the greatest architectural achievement of the North American Indians. They also found a great mystery that remains unexplained to this day, the sudden disappearance of the Anasazi people. If you like the topic, leave a like, subscribe, comment, and follow us on our social networks. These ruins were found in the region currently known as the Four Corners in the United States, located between southeastern Utah, northeastern Arizona, northwestern New Mexico, and southwestern Colorado. Known as the Chaco Canyon Complex, the site belonged to the mysterious Anasazi people between the years 100 and 1600 AD. However, shortly before the arrival of European explorers, the Anasazi culture disappeared without a trace. The reasons for their disappearance remain a true mystery to this day. The Anasazi civilization's intensive construction occurred throughout Chaco Canyon, resulting in the development of several sophisticated residential complexes that included small family homes, larger clan houses, large settlements, and cliff dwellings for defense. They built impressive building complexes called pueblos. The Pueblo Benito complex had over 600 rooms, numerous two- and three-story buildings, several ceremonial structures called kivas, and a population of between 801,200 individuals. Their homes were often multi-level, clustered near cliffs or canyons, accessed by wooden ladders. These people had remarkable knowledge of advanced masonry techniques to create durable structures, agriculture and irrigation, pottery, and art. The Anasazi people produced intricate pottery with geometric and symbolic patterns. They also created rock art, paintings, and engravings that can be seen on cave and cliff walls. The social organization was complex, with religious leaders and clan chiefs. They practiced religious rituals, including dances, ceremonies, and veneration of kivas, which were sacred underground structures. The Anasazi had a strong belief in the supernatural world, in that which lies beyond what we can see. The Anasazi were highly astronomical, with a deep understanding of the stars and celestial movement. They demonstrated this remarkable precision of celestial alignment in their buildings at Chaco Canyon. They meticulously planned the orientation of their buildings in relation to astronomical phenomena such as solstices, equinoxes, and lunar cycles. The Pueblo Benito complex, containing nearly 700 rooms, was carefully designed to align with these celestial events. From the Chaco complex, there are several straight lines, 33 feet wide, that extend 15 to 32 miles into the desert. Archaeologists have suggested that these lines are roads leading to outlying settlements, but many believe this to be highly unlikely, since the lines are straight regardless of the terrain. These lines pass over mesas, over vertical cliffs, and along paths that make them completely impractical for use by the casual or commercial traveler. Paul Devereux, a British writer, has suggested that these lines are markings representing the out-of-body spiritual journeys of ancient shamans. Indeed, the lines often lead to small shrine-like structures, where evidence of religious and shamanic activity is common. More than 500 miles of these lines have been mapped. Another mystery of the Anasazi people's construction is where they got the timber to build their monumental staircases and homes in a treeless landscape. Around 240,000 trees were used. Researchers at the University of Arizona analyzed tree ring data to determine the geographic origins of the timber. The results show that the wood came from two different mountains. The Zuni Mountains, about 75 kilometers south of the site, and the Chuska Mountains, about 75 kilometers west. The results also show that the wood was transported to Chaco Canyon without the help of pack animals, wheels, metal tools, or a large watercourse. How such large quantities of wood were transported is still a great mystery. The disappearance of the Anasazi people is a mystery that intrigues researchers. There are several theories about what may have happened. Tree ring dating shows that a period of great drought hit the Chaco area around 1150 AD, and many believe that this led to the abandonment of the site. 
Others speculate that internal conflicts or conflicts with other tribes led to the migration of the Anasazi to other regions in search of fertile land, resources, and protection. This speculation is supported by the discovery of dehydrated bodies that suggest the presence of a massacre at the site. However, there is a little-known story related in the Sunstreak project created by the U.S. government in 1987 to investigate the origin of anomalous phenomena that appeared in the Chaco Canyon region. The story is told by Dr. David Morehouse, a veteran assigned to the CIA. He led a U.S. Army team on an expedition to Chaco Canyon to monitor the night sky. For several weeks, they explored Chaco Canyon in search of answers. Although many of the specific details that Dr. David Morehouse and his team found during their investigation of Chaco Canyon remain a mystery, he reported in an interview that one night at exactly 1 a.m. above Pueblo Alto, something happened in the night sky. He said it looked like a transparent, watery surface that deflected the light of the stars behind it. This anomaly lasted approximately 20 minutes. In conversation with the team, they described the event as something opening and closing in the sky. They called this anomaly a portal or vortex. This event suggests that Dr. Morehouse's team may have been exploring concepts related to alternate dimensions and time travel. In addition to the portal, the team reported the appearance of mysterious lights and other types of electromagnetic anomalies. More clues can be found in a curious stone structure called Fajada Butte, near the top of which is a petroglyph in the shape of a circular spiral. This is interpreted as a sign of migration to a different dimension. The presence of a report of the appearance of a portal in the sky by a reliable source, along with a spiral petroglyph, raises questions about the connection of this people with paranormal phenomena. Could these events be an explanation for the sudden disappearance of the inhabitants of Chaco Canyon? The Anasazi are surrounded by a world full of mystical experiences, legends of the past and invisible spirits that were invoked in ceremonies to protect the tribe. Despite the uncertainties, the history and mystery of the Anasazi people continues to fascinate us and leave us with questions that are still unanswered. What do you think could have happened to these people? Leave your opinion in the comments below. Don't forget, if you liked the video, leave a like, subscribe, and follow us on our social networks.